welcome. You're watching The Property Show, your one-stop shop on all things property. Sit back, grab a cup of tea, and let's dream big. Enjoy the show. Our property pick of the week highlights 10 villas in Ongata Rongai, a family-friendly development promising to nurture every aspect of holistic living for the modern-day family units. Last week, we shed a light on one of the top most sought-after developments, Lifestyle Heights Apartments. Today, we answer your questions on this project, plus a highlight of homeowners sharing their experiences of living in this community. Clean air, there is something to be said for that. So, that's also a plus. And the other thing is, Lifestyle Heights is within Tatu City. And Tatu City has some value-adding facilities that it already has and some that are coming in the future. Telcom Kenya is back with a bang. When it comes to the world of digital, we want to understand everything. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Catch the conversation, unpacking Telcom's business strategy and where they are headed to. A must watch. Nothing that you'll be looking for as an SME or as a consumer that we don't have. Telcom is the most affordable data network. Nancy, at nine cents per MB, where are you going to get that? We all know choosing the right color for a home can be tricky. On the accessory spot, we share tips on how to make a home beautiful with paint choices. The property gallery features the best rental options available in the city. Engage us on our social media handles and share your views on this conversation. Your property search starts now. As always, there is something for everyone. community on the outskirts of Nairobi located in Onkata Rongai. This area is home to the best Nyamachoma joints and hosts two major markets for fresh produce. It is also known for pocket-friendly neighborhoods with holistic living solutions for the modern-day family unit with beautiful housing and 10 villas is no exception. Let's take a look. Located off Magadi Road in Ongaturongai, we find these luxurious and prestigious villas nestled within a gated community. This development consists of 10 units with splendid four bedroom villas all en suite with a plinth area of 330 to 400 square feet with a semi detached DSQ. Accommodation features include the spacious lounge is fitted with large windows which allow in natural light. From the lounge area, we have the dining area which is spacious and fitted with wooden floors. The kitchen is tastefully designed with top and bottom cabinets with a door leading to the pantry area. There is also a detached servant's quarter that is en suite. On your way to the upper floor is a well-designed staircase that adds beauty to the home. The upper floor mainly consists of the bedrooms all en suite. The master bedroom comes with a jacuzzi and a balcony. There is also a terrace that can be used as a fireplace and also where the family can relax and talk. Other amenities include perimeter wall with electric fence, 
CCTV surveillance ensuring the area is safe. Ample parking space allocated for each home, providing enough parking space with cover paved driveways. On-site borehole that ensures sufficient water supply, plus an extra 1,500 liters roof tank. Solar water heating system per villa, energy efficient by a digester, gym area where one can go and exercise, internet connectivity, children's play area where they can connect and interact with others. Only five units remaining. This development is in close proximity to shopping malls, schools and other recreational facilities like Nairobi National Park. last week's show, we shed a light on one of the top most sought after developments in the fastest growing suburbs along Roiro Kiambu Road, Lifestyle Heights Apartments. Today, we answer your questions on this project, plus a highlight of homeowners sharing their experience of living in this community. Is the service charge. Currently, service charge is 5,000 Kenya shillings. The development is managed by the developer. This is expected to continue during the handover to the homeowner. The second question asked is on the provision of water. Lifestyle Heights gets fresh water from Tatu City Reservoir. They also have good provision for the fresh water storage with underground water tanks holding 800 cubic liters, which feeds to the water tower holding a capacity of 196 cubic liters, plus a provision of 1,000 liters on individual housing units that automatically refills once consumed. was on how many parking bays are there for each unit. The three bedroom apartments are allocated two parkings each and one parking for the two bedroom units. Extra visitors parking is available. Another question asked was what security measures are in place? Apart from the Tattoo City security on the exterior of the perimeter wall, Lifestyle Heights apartments have on-ground security personnel. Additionally, the perimeter walling has an electric fencing plus CCTV camera systems that covers virtually all angles of the development. The development is also adequately lit at night. The project also comes with automatic changeover generator. And finally, all apartments' entrances have biometric access. Another question asked was on schools in the neighborhood. Lifestyle Heights is surrounded by both local and international schools. They are also surrounded by universities, both public and private. The project is accessible through Kamete Road, Kiambu Road and Thika Road. Lifestyle Heights apartments consists of two and three bedroom deluxe and standard apartments. Three bedroom deluxe apartments have a plain area of 132 square meters 
while the standard has a plinth area of 115 square meters and the two-bedroom deluxe apartment has plinth area of 100 square meters and the standard has 81 square meters. This development comprises 472 units master en suite. It is conveniently located along Roiro Kiambu Road, 20 kilometers from Nairobi CBD. Accommodation features include a hardwood mahogany door that invites you to a spacious lounge fitted with large windows to allow in natural light. The mid wall has special effect, setting it apart from the other walls making it unique. An aluminum door seamlessly leads you to the beautifully tiled balcony which can act as a chill spot for you and your family. The kitchen comes fitted with tiled walls which are accentuated with upper and lower cabinets which offer sufficient storage. While in the kitchen, there is a door which leads to Dobie area which is also fitted with well laid out tiles and a sink plus top. The master bedroom is fitted with large windows that let in natural light. The spacious inbuilt cupboards provide a sufficient storage, a dressing counter. Given that it's en suite, the bathroom consists of a shower cubicle fitted with a rain shower head system. The two bedrooms also consist of spacious inbuilt closets complete with large windows. They share a common bathroom which is fitted with tiles. of residents at the Lifestyle Heights community. Currently I'm renting here at Lifestyle and that's part of a journey. Of course there are many considerations that one takes in, in uh, of course, there are many things that one takes into consideration. Uh, there is the resource that one has to mobilize in order to go into ownership. But ultimately, uh, once all the ducks are in a row, I definitely would consider ownership. And there were two open days that were hosted here. And just out of curiosity, we decided to come and have a look. The first time it was all a construction site, we were walking over you know, scaffolding and construction and things like that. And then we looked at the concept and it was impressive. Then there was a second open day and it was beginning to look more like what it is now. And we just thought, well, this is one place we would consider, definitely. Uh, of course, on the way there, we looked at other properties as well. So it's a good thing that we had the opportunity to compare and see what the market is offering. And then all things considered, we decided to go with Lifestyle Heights. Actually, I would say the challenges were very few. As far as Lifestyle Heights is concerned, once we got in touch with the management office, the instructions were very clear. We made the payment that was required, and then they made it possible for us to move in at the time when we were requesting to move in. So, to their credit, I must say, I, I did not really encounter any challenges moving in here. As far as the lived experience is concerned, one considers a number of things. One of them is actually location. You look at, uh, and it influenced the choice, the location of Lifestyle Heights. It's in the immediate vicinity of three schools. And between those three schools, they offer both the local national curriculum and a foreign curriculum, Cambridge, all the way from playgroup kindergarten to pre-university. So if you consider that, that is a plus. And then you consider the fact that this is a new place. And because it's a new place, clean air, there is something to be said for that. So that's also a plus. And the other thing is, Lifestyle Heights is within Tatu City. And Tatu City has some value adding facilities that it already has and some that are coming in the future. So if you put that together and then consider the location in terms of being in the midpoint between Kiambu Town and Riru Town, uh, being within driving distance of certain already existing facilities, whether it's Two Rivers Mall, or Thika Road Mall, being only nine kilometers away from the Thika Highway. Um, all those things speak for Lifestyle Heights as a location 
within Tatu City. As far as the enjoyment of children is concerned, and that includes the adults as well, because when a child is enjoying peace, the parent is also at peace. Um, the key thing is first being within one compound, so one gate for entering and one gate for leaving. Security. I mean, being in the house and knowing that the children are playing outside but they are safe is both important for the parent, for peace of mind, but also important for the child. Um, there's a playground that's functional and there is enough space for children who have bicycles to ride them and just to run around. And also there is something good about the balance between the built-up area and the green areas that have been availed within uh, Lifestyle Heights. So just that balance of you know, nature and very well constructed infrastructure is good. Uh, going beyond children to think about inclusivity, the concept of design is such that it caters for different kinds of needs. You have units that uh, have family people and then you have units that could have single people or other constellations of families. And the other form of inclusivity, which is very important is this. All the high-rise blocks in Lifestyle Heights have lifts and they have a ramp which gives access to people who use wheelchairs. You know, people living with disability, sometimes it's permanent, sometimes it's temporary. It could be that somebody is injured for a short time and has to use a wheelchair. Then one begins to see the usefulness of that. So just all that inclusivity, um, the ability to actually take a walk, do exercise, even take a jog, but still be within the compound of Lifestyle Heights. That's a big plus. Utilities are very well thought through in this concept as part of the design. One of the key things is actually water. And as far as water is concerned, I can say I've been here, this is the 10th month now, and there has not been a single day we have been without water. Electricity supplied by Tatu Connect, and Tatu Connect are doing uh, a good job of really stabilizing power. Uh, so that has really helped as far as utilities are concerned. Then um, there are a couple of service providers for internet connectivity. And even during this period of uh, lockdown and containment, it has been possible for quite a number of residents whose work allows it to do their work while stationed at home. So remote working has also been possible throughout this period of uh, COVID-19 containment measures. and many are asking where is the business headed to? Today we are privileged to host one of the business leaders of Telcom who will be sharing a breakdown on how Telcom is transforming in this season and beyond. Karibu sana on the show. Santi sana Nancy. How are you? I'm very well. Let yourself? Fantastic. How is business going in these hard times? It's been a great break. I think it's allowed business leaders to rethink, re-strategize and reimagine the future. So um, we are very excited about the future of Telcom. As you know, we're engaged and um, I think uh, we got to a point where we decided that um, it may not necessarily be the best strategic option for us. So we took, uh, we took a step back and we disengaged. And so obviously after disengaging, you have to decide what's the way forward, what next. And so, well, we've now restructured the company to come up with two business units, Telcom Consumer and Telcom Digital. So I run Telcom Digital now, and uh, digital, basically, um, a lot of people are talking about digital and digitization. Yes. And uh, I, I just want to say, well, it's about lifestyle. As we know, most uh, people, um, when you wake up in the morning, the first thing that you do is you look at your mobile phone, whether for your calendar, whether for your, your emails, whether for your text, or, your, for news. or for news, you know, the gadget, that device has become the center of activity. 
And so therefore that has pushed um, both companies and the government to have to re rethink how they'll engage. Um, on one hand, the government's mandate or uh, for as a citizen, I'll say they are obligated to provide me services. Um, on the other hand, for companies, companies are trying to use it to reach their end users. And so whether it's the public sector who wants to give services to the citizenry or the private sector who wants to push products, they have to use the digital platform. That digital platform is provided by telcos, mobile companies like ourselves. And so it's in this engagement that this whole digitization or digital ecosystem, uh, we are enabling um, the government to talk to you, you know, and for you to engage with the government. How is the digitization trickling down to the mamamboga? As a mamamboga, today you are literally carrying your mboga, you're crossing the road. You get hit by a motorcycle or a car. You can take your phone, even if it's a kaduda, you know, you put in the registration number of that car or that um, motorcycle, and you can get to know who owns it. Okay? And so right then, then, they don't have to be worried about chasing, you know, or feeling like they're lost. You know the owner, and then you go and look for the insurance company which has covered that car. So that's on one side. Now, those are the same digitization. So digitization, that's in the public sector. We've helped NTSA to do that. On the other hand, on digitization, the same Mamamboga can buy insurance online. So today, instead of going to an insurance company, you can go online and through the use of the internet or an app, for example, they are able to buy insurance for themselves. And this has been enabled by also mobile money because people are able to pay insurance on a weekly basis. For example, in the, in the area of um, Boda Boda, a lot of digitization has happened that when they want insurance, because the Boda Boda guy cannot pay for a year in advance. So between the banks, between the digital platforms that we've provided, you are able to get insurance. You're paying it pole pole. Wow. Let's talk about the SME. That's my space. Yes. What do you have for the SME? The basic need of an SME is to have good reliable, affordable connectivity. Because as an SME, you use um, the internet for different things or connectivity for different things. You use it for browsing, you use it for email, you use it to stay in touch, collaboration. So I'm sure during this COVID period... For research. For research. Yes. A lot of people are using Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Yes. We're, we're spending all our time on Webinar, Zoom, calls, Zoom webinars and, and, and the rest. And also, even for yourself... Of course, working with your team, um, you need to stay in, in touch with them. These days, voice is there. You'll always use voice. But a network provider like ourselves is enabling you to do the collaborative work that you need to do with your people. That, that's it. So for an SME, it's on the basic connectivity. Of course, sometimes you will need a lot of SMS. Um, so like an SMS platform, we have that, that you can use to contact your agents or contact your potential clients. Um, anything that will enable you to do your business more effective, efficient, and to be able to engage. You know, the digitization is about how do you engage because your clients are on the mobile phone. So you have a solution for me? Of course we do. Let's talk about your footprint. Telcom, uh, because of course our legacy is from the days of KPTC. We are a national provider. Um, we, we, were, we were born national. All the regions... Um, all the counties we cover in terms of the infrastructure. Now, obviously, over time, we have done rationalization, but we happen to be most of the malls in mo all the major towns, all the major cities, we are in all the malls. Um, so you can engage us through that. We're also, uh, um, in terms of our distribution network, um, we've ensured that now we cover 80% um, of where, obviously, there's people, wherever there's population, telecom is there. Um, as you know, on another and in terms of infrastructure, we are covering the underserved or unserved people using the new technology that we introduced, which is the loon technology. Let's talk about the loon and what is it and break it down in a layman's language. So loon is a, is a new technology where we partnered um, with Alphabet, which is the parent company of Google, to provide services to the areas which are underserved and unserved. 
So one of the challenges that has occurred um, since COVID came is that if there was a gap between the wealthy and the not wealthy, it would be in the technology. And so with COVID, obviously, if you take, let's say, education, people in private schools were quickly able to go on to online education. And those in some of the public schools, which didn't have the means, they were not able to get any instruction during this period. So for us, Loon is about bridging the digital divide. It's about ensuring that even the areas which were not covered by our network infrastructure and even, to be frank, even competitors of ours, we are able to cover those using this technology. The technology is provided through balloons which are hovering in the air and it helps to provide 4G signal to the people in that area. So it's just another way of giving a signal. It extends our already existing uh, 4G GSM network to the balloons, to the underserved and unserved. So you can say to an extent to expand on our social side, but it's also got its own commercial side. That's what Loon is about. Wow. Yeah, wow. yeah. So for an SME, if you are like when we did the tests around Baringo, the, the SME over there, for example, there were ladies over there who were producing honey. And this honey, they're producing it, quite a lot of it. They needed to sell it, but they don't have connectivity. That which is the base. With the connectivity, they are able to check the prices of honey in Nairobi. They're able to contact their potential customers. They're able to receive messages to say, we are going to buy X amount of barrels of honey and they're able to sell it. So just by having that loan service there, we've been able to bridge the digital divide. We've been able to uplift a community who um, would, other than that, otherwise not be able to market their product. Another interesting question we've been asked is, are you ready for growth, especially on the home fiber? 100%, we're ready. So with our new strategy, we recognize the fact that a lot of people are beginning to do their day-to-day -day business from the home. Um, because of social distancing, there's regulations about number of people in any uh, space. So a lot of companies have um, told their employees, if you don't have to come to the office, then don't come. If you can do the work you're doing from home, stay home. Which means that connectivity at home is no longer home connectivity. In the past, home connectivity used to be just have something in the house that you can use to get connected to the internet if and when needed. But now home connectivity is very important because a lot of executives and a lot of employees are working from home. So the connectivity they need at home is as reliable as the connectivity they need in the office. In fact, more reliable because as at right now, most kids are schooling from home online. So if you take the normal home construct, you have parents who have to wake up and go to work, so they are online. You have kids who have to wake up and go to school and they are online doing it from home. And then um, there's the rest of the collaboration that is needed, as I said before. So getting into the home space is a, is a definite. We had already started plans on this pre-COVID. We were doing some uh, proof of concepts, but now given the situation, you will see Telcom having massive strategical moves into this area. I must say that we want to do a lot of this through partnerships. Unlike um, other companies, we're going to be doing a lot of this through partnerships. But we want to partner with smaller companies who want to take hold of a particular area. We want to provide them the capacity, provide them the technology, provide them the, the, the training set that they're able to do it. One of the partnerships that we are seeing evolve today is Dial Daktari. Tell us more about it. So Dial Daktari is a very um, innovative platform where we went into partnership to, to take healthcare services to the people. Again, as I said, the focal point is the, the, the device. And so people don't necessarily want to go to the hospital, but they want to be able to consult a doctor. Dial Daktari gives them an opportunity to consult a doctor on the phone using a toll-free line and they basically are able to get medical advice. And only if they need to go to the hospital, do they go to the hospital. 
so they can pay for the consultation online they can get the information they want and they might even get a prescription and go to the clinic and buy it in fact they don't have to go to the clinic and buy it if you take the healthcare industry a lot has happened today if i'm not feeling well i can dial dactari i can get a prescription i can order online and it's delivered to me all from the comfort of my home and those are being enabled by people like like ourselves chris we kenyans feel very emotionally attached and loyal to telco yes yet sometimes we have challenges whether you'd be able to provide what we're looking for why should i choose telcom come on nancy first of all you've said it properly telcom has that brand affinity because we've been there right from the beginning yes as a company we might have had some challenges in the middle but we are back in fact what we are telling people is telcom is back and telcom is now digital nancy i want to assure you of a couple of things we have the infrastructure that is necessary to serve you to serve the public sector to serve the private sector to serve the consumers where there were there are gaps we have the loon technology to plug in to make sure that's there when it comes to products and solutions we have them there is nothing that you'll be looking for as an SME or as a consumer that we don't have. Telcom is the most affordable data network. Nancy, at nine cents per MB, where are you going to get that? Lastly, and beyond the doubt, when it comes to a user experience, call our call center. Believe me, you will be surprised. We have very passionate young Kenyans in over there who are always ready and willing to serve our, our customers. So I can promise you, Nancy, if you take a fiber link into one of these apartments of yours or into one of these homes of yours, you'll be very happy with Telcom. So when it comes to choices, Telcom is number one. Please, try us out. I will try you out. Yeah. Try and I'm sure out. our viewers will try you out and we'll pick that with you, Chris. Please do. Wow. Asante sana. Thank you very much. The new Telcom Kenya is here and committed to work with us on all our internet needs. Visit any of their outlets and you too can get connected. Don't go away, we'll be right back after the break. We are back. You're watching The Property Show. We all know choosing the right paint color for a home can be tricky. Next, tips on how to make a home beautiful with suitable paint choices. Color choices are highly subjective, and when it comes to decorating your home, you need to do what feels right to you. Choosing a color combination for your home interior can be a challenge, but color can also be a powerful tool for transforming a plain space into a sensational environment. Here are some tips to get you started. Cool down. Resist the temptation to select a paint color first because it can be matched to virtually any color. Start your color search with room elements that are less flexible such as furniture, fabrics, tile or wallpaper. Then base your paint colors on those. Consider lighting. Color is a reflection of light so the kind and amount of light in a room will bring a significant impact on a color scheme. Experiment with how natural light or light from lamps or recessed fixtures affects color in fabrics, paint, furniture and other surfaces. Committing to color. Injecting color doesn't have to mean a long-term relationship with a chosen hue. If you prefer a neutral background, there are many ways to add color with small touches or even bursts of a selected color scheme. Fabrics and textiles such as rugs, 
throw pillows and window treatments are the perfect elements for inviting color in and can add pattern as well as textures. Accessories and personal collections can act as colorful accents in your room. Color in an open plan. Look for corners and transition areas for natural places to stop and start a paint color or wall treatment such as wallpaper. You can also pick a self-contained wall to paint with an accent color. Consider using a monochromatic scheme and change the value of the color from space to space. Add molding to delineate a space with molding and use paint within that space for a block of color. While neutrals might seem safe, there are many benefits to using color in your home. Color can unite desperate styles of furnishings. It is also useful for renewing worn or outdated furniture. Nothing enlivens a traditional style more than a fresh and an unexpected pop of color. Using color can also manipulate your sense of space. A small room can seem larger with light colors. A large room will shrink with a darker shade on the walls. You can visually lower a ceiling with a dark color and raise it with a light one. Have fun and know that you don't necessarily have to follow theories of design and the color wheel to find a successful scheme. Are you an interior designer with an edge? Looking for a platform to showcase your style? Reach out to us and we'll be happy to feature your work. Affordable contemporary homes are hard to come by. Lucky for us, here are some of the most modern pocket-friendly homes available in the city. Next, the property gallery. Racecourse Gardens a spectacular community nested on Gong Road, offering an opportunity to own premium, high-quality apartments with contemporary interior finishes. It offers 436 units, which comprise of studio apartments, standard one-bedroom, deluxe one-bedroom, and two-bedroom apartments. This housing project fits into your lifestyle. Accommodation includes lounge, common washroom, kitchenette, two balconies, one bedroom, ensuite master, fitted wardrobes, and tiled floors. Salient features include smart CCTV on the entire development, standard Wi-Fi on the entire development, nursery school and children's playground, swimming pool and gym, lifts, commercial center, lighting and water management set up using the latest green technologies, secure main gate entrance and masonry wall with electric fencing, modern sewage treatment plant, borehole, overhead water tanks, carbro roads, parking bay for each resident and additional parking for visitors. Edenbrook Apartments is located in the fast-growing neighborhood of Kasarani along Thika Superhighway. This modern complex consists of 36 three-bedroom apartments with a plinth area of 130 square meters. Accommodation features include spacious separate living and dining rooms, laminate floor on sitting room improving the aesthetics of the house, 
large windows allowing in natural light, a spacious kitchen that stands out with granite countertops as well as top and bottom cabinets for storage, three bedrooms, master ensuite. Other amenities include cover paved roads, street lighting, electric fence, 24-hour CCTV and 24-hour guide patrol for security, two parking lots per house, a borehole, a recreational park and a modern clubhouse and commercial facilities. This project is in close proximity to Kasurani Police Station, further boosting the security of the area. The units are ready for occupation Woodley Springs is located off Gong Road within a pristine gated neighborhood having a close proximity to major businesses. The development comprises of 29 three-bedroom units having a plinth area of 150 square meters and 155 square meters with master ensuite and DSQ as well as 15 two-bedroom units with master ensuite having a plinth area of 89 square meters. Accommodation includes a foyer entrance, living room, large French windows, dining area, modern kitchen with granite tops and fitted cupboards, laundry area, master ensuite with high spec fitted bathroom, and domestic quarters. Salient features include 24 hour security, perimeter wall with electric fence, basement parking, rooftop entertainment area, high speed lifts, gym, borehole, water treatment plant. CCTV, DSTV, backup generator and a provision for solar water heating system. Defined by serene living and modern haven, Clay City Apartments are located off Thicker Road in Kasarani. These modern apartments comprise of 80 three-bedroom units with a plinth area of 110 square meters spread across two blocks. Accommodation features include spacious lounge with dining area, balcony area, kitchen area fitted with granite countertops, master ensuite, common cloakroom, hot water heating system, ceramic tiled floor. Salient features include 24-7 manned gate, boundary wall with electric fence, CCTV surveillance, ample parking area, two high-speed lifts pub lock, children play area, borehole backup generator for common areas, usable rooftop. La Casa Luxury Apartments is an exquisite, modern, and elegantly designed project and consists of one and two bedrooms of 70 square meters and 93 square meters, respectively. It is conveniently located in the serene Ole Kasasi area just before Ongatarungai. The development is an ideal smart investment that offers convenience, safety, style, and comfort. Accommodation includes 
spacious lounge opening to the balcony, wide windows to allow in natural light, open plan kitchen can be customized to suit your preference, granite tops and a provision for the cooker, fridge in the kitchen, utility area, first bedroom share a common bathroom, ensuite master bedroom with inbuilt wardrobes, ceramic tiles with a wooden touch and wrought iron. Salient features include CCTV, perimeter wall with electric fence, 24-hour security, entertainment roof terrace, solar water heating system, reserve tank with three supply lines, DSTV, TV and internet provisions, one parking for each unit, cabra paved pathways and external gas cylinder. Dainty Apartments is a modern residential development located in the Degua Estate, Kiambu County, approximately 80 meters off Kiambu Road and 10 kilometers from the CBD. It comprises of 48 units of two-bedroom apartments measuring 93 square meters and 24 units of three-bedroom apartments measuring 108 square meters and is dubbed as your apartment of choice. Accommodation includes spacious living room come dining with a balcony, open plan kitchen fitted with MDF cabinets with granite countertops, fine interior finishes and sanitary ware, ceramic tile floors, master bedroom ensuite, common washroom and WC. Amenities include high-speed lifts, children's playing area, gym, sauna and steam baths, parking, perimeter wall and 24-hour security and backup generator. Bridgeview Park is located in a cool and serene location near Vet Lab Golf Course, just five minutes drive from Westland Shopping Center with ease of access to Waiyaki Way. The amenities within Bridgeview Park include luxurious apartment with spacious rooms, modern fittings in the kitchens and bedrooms, security gatehouse, eight feet boundary wall with an electric fence at the top, CCTV cameras, adequate secure parking for each unit, 24-hour water supply with in-house treatment plant, a standby generator, ICT connection, ease of access for those working in Westlands area, as well as the UN offices in Gigiri, ILRI and University of Nairobi Agriculture and Veterinary College. Phase one of the development is sold out Sales for Phase 2 is currently ongoing and the expected completion date is end of November 2020. First Avenue is home to all these pocket-friendly rental options available in the city. You can visit our offices or call us for more details. We also arrange private viewing. Thank you for watching The Property Show. One thing I have found true over the years, well thought out projects with appealing designs sell out quickly. Guess what? The following projects have either sold out or have a few units remaining. We have periodically featured these projects on the property show. If 
you're a developer struggling to position your project and attract good buyers, this is the platform for you. We have expertise to jumpstart the selling process. Just visit our offices or give us a call and we'll be happy to package your development. For the right buyers. Keep sharing your views on our social media handles. As always, there is something for everyone. Kwaheri!